Thanks, Ainsley. We're so excited to introduce to you the Teachers of the Year at the Institute Schools. All of these teachers have worked tirelessly to address their students' learning needs while also caring for their health and well-being of their students. Charter school teachers often wear many different hats and serve many different roles within their school buildings. They are the backbone of the schools and their communities, and we could not be more grateful for all that they do. It is with great pleasure that we introduce to you 2021-2022 Teachers of the Year. From Belton Preparatory Academy, Ms. Erica Schuler, fourth grade. From Brazier Middle College Charter School, Mr. Quentin Grant, high school special education. From Calhoun Falls Charter School, Ms. Teresa Goff, high school science. From Clear Dot Charter School, Mr. Michael Frank, K through seventh grade Spanish. From Cyber Academy of South Carolina, Ms. Mina Garber, fourth grade English language arts. From Cyber Academy of South Carolina, Ms. Morgan Mobley, seventh grade science. From Gray Collegiate Academy, Ms. Nicole Wilson, 9th through 11th grade mathematics. From Horse Creek Academy Charter School, Mr. William Jackson, 7th, 8th, and 9th grade mathematics. From Legion Collegiate Academy, Ms. Crystal Johnson, 10th and 11th grade English and ESL. From Low Country Leadership Charter School, Ms. Jasmine Wynn, 7th and 8th grade mathematics. From Meavers School of Excellence, Ms. Christine Mott. From Midland STEM Institute Elementary School, Ms. Chrissy Lyles, Elementary Social Studies. From Midland STEM Institute, Ms. Glenda Suber, K-12 School Counselor. From Odyssey Online Learning, Ms. Jennifer Parnell, High School CTE. From Royal Live Oaks Academy Elementary School, Ms. Khadid Witcher Headley, third grade. From Royal Live Oaks Academy Middle School, Ms. Angela Ocasian, Middle School Math and Science. From South Carolina Connections Academy, Middle School, Ms. Jenny Kelly, 7th grade Mathematics. From South Carolina Connections Academy, High School, Ms. Keisha Carter, Secondary Social Studies. From South Carolina Virtual Charter School Elementary School, Ms. Jessica Lewis, Kindergarten through 5th grade teacher. From South Carolina Virtual Charter School, Middle School, Mr. Jarrell Casey Argo, 7th grade Social Studies. From South Carolina Virtual Charter School, High School, Ms. Denise Eubanks, High School Special Education. From Summit Classical School, Ms. Blythe Thibodeau, fourth grade. From Thornwell Charter School, Ms. Carrie Gearhart, fifth through eighth grade music. And Virtus Academy, South Carolina, Ms. Sharon Goodridge, first grade. You may wonder why we didn't mention some of our teachers of the year, five to be exact. That's because those five teachers are 2021 through 2022 Nathan Yon Institute Teacher of the Year finalists. Our panel of judges read every single Teacher of the Year application and selected the top five applications with no knowledge of the teacher's names, school, or educational background. Coming to you from the Low Country Leadership Charter School to announce the top five finalists, please get up for Ms. Katie Bell, the 2020 through 2021 Nathan Yon Institute Teacher of the Year. Good evening, my name is Katie Bell, and I've had the honor of representing the Charter Institute at Erskine as their 2021 Teacher of the Year. While education has looked quite different this year, our schools and educators have persevered and thrived in the face of challenge after challenge. Today, we honor one of our teachers as the 21-22 CIE Teacher of the Year. Without further ado, I'm thrilled to present to you the five finalists for the Nathan Yon Institute Teacher of the Year. First up, we have Mr. Charles Walker, a high school English and journalism teacher from Coastal Leadership Academy. Next, Mr. Robert Johnson, a high school career and technical education teacher from South Carolina Cyber Academy. From Oceanside Collegiate Academy, it's Ms. Christina Tremarco, a high school English teacher. Next up, Ms. Cindy Moore, a high school CTE teacher from Royal Live Oaks Academy. And finally, Ms. Laura Ferguson, a virtual fourth grade teacher from South Carolina Connections Academy. Before we find out which one of these finalists will take home the Teacher of the Year Award, we would like to take a moment to remember and celebrate the life of Nathan Yon, the namesake of our Teacher of the Year. Nathan Yan was a charter school leader with a passion for school choice and innovative education. We spoke with his family to learn more about his life and contributions to charter schools in South Carolina. 
Nathan was a people person. He was also very fun-loving. He was a visionary. His dreams of charter school far exceeded most people. He could see things that other people could not see. He was a hard worker, hard worker. Most importantly, he loved working with students. He loved seeing students learn. And he wanted to change the way he had seen his last 10 years in education before he started with the charter school. He um, had already done the grant, had been accepted, and his school was to be the South Carolina Science Academy. So what is STEM and what do you guys do? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. Okay. This school will give us an opportunity to really explore how we need to be educating our ch children in relation to STEM moving into the 21st century. Uh, and he was in the process of making that happen when the accident happened. And that happened on May 15, 2013. He had had a board meeting on a Wednesday night and he was headed back to Newberry, which is where he lived. And as he was traveling Interstate 26 toward Chapin, a drunk driver got off the interstate and hit him head on, going in the wrong lane. So a tragic ending for a brilliant mind, someone who wanted to change things for the better. Uh, we miss him so much. And you know, I'm so thankful that the uh, Teacher of the Year is being named in Nathan's memory. Uh, but some of those qualities that I saw in Nathan, so he was so compassionate and caring. He was very inspired and inspiring. He inspired others to come alongside him and help and do. He would encourage a teacher to look for the hidden treasures in a child. It was wonderful about digging in to their being and what they were interested in and developing that. And we're so thankful that he's not gonna be forgotten because this being every year will bring his name back and his memory. Many thanks to the Yon family for sharing with us. The Institute Teacher of the Year shares many qualities with someone like Nathan, a passion for education, a dedication to students, and a relentless pursuit of excellence and innovation. It has been an honor to serve as your 2020-2021 Nathan Yon Institute Teacher of the Year. We are honored to have a special guest with us tonight to announce our winner. Here now to announce the 2021-2022 Nathan Yon Institute Teacher of the Year is South Carolina Representative Rita Allison. She has demonstrated a lifelong commitment to education in South Carolina. Representative Allison has served in the South Carolina House of Representatives for 13 years and previously served on the Spartanburg County School Board. She currently chairs the House Education and Public Works Committee, which is responsible for developing education legislation for the state of South Carolina. Welcome Representative Allison. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rita Allison, and I'm honored to serve as the chair lady for the Education and Public Works Committee in South Carolina House of Representatives. I'm so excited to join you today to announce the 2021-22 Nathan Yon Institute Teacher of the Year. The Teacher of the Year serves as an ambassador for charter schools across the state of South Carolina. This year's teacher is an amazingly accomplished individual. She holds a Master of Science Education from Hofstra University and a gifted and talented certification from Converse College. For more than a decade, this dedicated individual has served as a fourth grade teacher at her school and has served as a member of the Elementary Guiding Coalition for the past year. While many people struggle to acclimate to the changes in education that were brought about by COVID-19, this teacher immediately leaped into action. When her school teacher's population doubled 
during the pandemic, she mentored teachers that were new to virtual education and new to the charter system, answering their questions and providing training. She connected with families who transitioned into the charter system during the COVID, easing their anxieties through Zoom when they could not meet face to face. This diligence contributed to major enrollment growth within her school. Despite the trials of COVID, she remains an enthusiastic, charismatic educator with a passion for her students, her work, and school choice. The state of South Carolina is blessed to have forward-thinking leaders and innovators in education like this teacher. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the 2021-22 Nathan Yon Institute Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Laura Ferguson from South Carolina Connections Academy. On behalf of the people of South Carolina, we congratulate you. You are the Charter Institute of Erskine District Teacher of the Year. Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Are you totally surprised? Yeah. I don't know. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It was an unbelievable surprise that it was a ton of planning, um, a lot of lies that went into today. Um, but when Laura walked out and got on the red carpet, on, it was like one of those proud mom moments. The work that the Institute and our team put in to surprise Laura and seeing her reaction when she walked down the red carpet and how surprised she was, uh, I think that's a memory that will stick with me forever. So absolutely had no idea that this was going to happen. Um, I had looked at the other candidates and they were amazing and I definitely wasn't expecting um, to win. I really thought we were going to a curriculum meeting. <laughs> I was really looking forward to going to a curriculum meeting. I just am honored to be um, chosen for District Teacher of the Year. What actually had to happen for this all to come together was we worked very closely with the South Carolina Connections team and told Ms. Ferguson that she would be attending a curriculum training, but that their assistant principal, Ms. Brandy Smith, had to stop by the airport and pick up some lost luggage for her father. So that's how we kind of fooled her into coming to an airport when she thought she was going to a curriculum meeting. So here at the Institute, we're always trying to come up with innovative new ways of celebrating the accomplishments of our schools and of our teachers and of our students. Crazy and out of the box and impactful because that's kind of what we always like to do. Last year we did a limo, this year we decided to kick it up a notch and actually put our Teacher of the Year on a plane and send her flying over the sites and uh, surrounding area of Columbia. So you're going to be going for a ride, uh, you and your husband and a couple folks from the Charter Institute are going to go with you as well and your ride's coming right here, see it coming from over there and uh, y'all get to do a little tour and celebrate you. What you've accomplished. <laughs> We're so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, they'll happen in the air. <laughs> so. Oh, you still want to talk about the curriculum? Because I will. <laughs> <laughs> Our 
our flight instructor, he was like explaining everything up there. And it was just unbelievable. And then we got to see Columbia from above and the lake it was so beautiful. Once we were up there, I was no longer nervous. And then suddenly I had control. He turned off the autopilot and he's like, okay, your turn. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Just going up, it matched how I felt. Laura is such a, a servant. Laura is such a, um, a person who cares deeply for the students of South Carolina. She is a pioneer of virtual education and she's always willing to help out anybody that she can. In her classroom, they get excited and it's so fun to watch her. It's so clear that she loves those kids um, and what she does. Well, we saw the challenges that COVID presented for brick and mortar schools across the state of South Carolina and across the nation. And we also saw how virtual teachers and virtual schools excelled uh, even in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. And so this is the perfect year to celebrate virtual education, to celebrate how far virtual education has come. And for Ms. Ferguson to be able to take the knowledge that she has from living through COVID as a virtual teacher and her, seeing her children excel even in the midst of these challenges, to take that knowledge as an ambassador for teachers all across the state and to impart that knowledge and wisdom to our schools all over the state of South Carolina. Um, I haven't seen someone work so hard as Laura. She is a wonderful human being and teacher, and I'm just very blessed to have her here at SCCA. Oh, Laura, I'm so proud of you. You've, you deserve every bit of this. You have earned this. Congratulations, my friend. To my fourth graders for the 2021 school year, you guys are awesome. I am so proud of you and I could not be teacher of the year without you. I'm looking forward to helping teachers and students, um, especially if I can any, in any way help with um, a virtual school or virtual setting, I'm happy to do so. South Carolina teachers, let's move the needle.